Hi, I'm Melissa Mansfield. Welcome to Books That Matter. Our guest today is Alicia Silverstone. She's the author of the new book, The Kind Diet, all about how a healthy vegan diet is good for you and the planet. Welcome, Alicia. Thank you. I'm really interested with how you came up with the name, The Kind Diet. What does that mean to you and how did you think of it? The whole concept of kind is about being kind to yourself and about being kind to the planet and that all creatures benefit as a result. It's really beautiful to me that Mother Nature designed it so that the food that heals us also heals the planet. So, so much of the damage that we're doing to the planet could be erased and healed through food just by changing and moving in a direction of a plant-based diet. And you can do that gradually. It's not this kind of dogmatic approach of you have to change overnight. Let's say you wanted to, um, you were like, I want to feel amazing and I want to look my best and I care about the planet. I'm interested, but I can't commit. There's no way. Well, you could be a flirt. Right. So, you have the three levels yeah, in your book, right? Yeah. So the whole, the reason I did that is so that there was no judgment. There's no, like, even if you were to set into this and then, you know, suddenly you found yourself at a party and you caved in. Who cares? You caved in for one night. The next day you get back on. This is the no deprivation, no punishment, only positive, wonderful results diet. And even the word diet, um, I'm trying to restore its name. In, in the 1600s, diet meant a day's journey or a way of thinking, which I think is really lovely. Now diet means deprivation and calorie counting and hell, really. So I want to restore the concept that this is really about moving through life with really great toolbox, having all the information, knowing which foods will age you and make you sick and which foods will really nourish your blood and your cells and your organs so that you're getting younger because I feel younger now than I ever did before. What was the experience for you as far as your health as you started moving towards a plant-based diet? Yeah, so, um, you know, I was probably a flirt from age 8 to 21 because, uh, you know, my brother made the noises of the lamb that I was eating. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, well, I'm vegetarian. But I was 8, so I forgot quite quickly. And then when I was 21, I really made a commitment. I was not interested in health at age 21. I wish I was smart enough to have cared about my health at 21, but I was so anti-health. <laughs> I was on a steak and donut diet. And at that time for me... I became very clear that if I wasn't willing to eat my dog, you know, this creature that gave me so much love and was so funny and I knew had the same desire to live as a pig or a cow or a chicken or a lamb and that they have the same ability to feel pain and suffering or um, kindness and really beautiful souls that for me I no longer could ask. If, if I couldn't eat my dog, how could I continue to eat them? And I saw how they did it. So anyway, for me, it was a, an animal thing. But what happened and why I don't, it doesn't matter if you don't care about animals at all, because this book is not for animal people. This book's not written about animals, nothing to do with animals. This book is about you and being your healthiest self. But it just so happened that was what happened to me, and that changed my life. Well, thank you so much for sharing your experiences with us <laughs> here today. You. The book's wonderful, some delicious recipes yeah, in there. really delicious. So thank you again. If you're interested in learning more about The Kind Diet or A Kind Life, you can go to Alicia's website, and that's thekindlife.com. Thanks for joining us. I'm Melissa Mansfield with Books That Matter. We'll see you next time.